Technology's always played a big part in our kitchens, but as companies introduce AI into our appliances, how we cook in the future may look a lot different. We're kind of moving into this world in which machines are no longer just going to be collecting information or even kind of helping us analyze that information, but they'll be able to take action on our behalf. But can all the tech in the world make us better cooks? Technology is trying to idiot-proof cooking. This is taken to the next level. It looks like a microwave, but that's actually a $400 Wi-Fi connected oven. You can program it to cook what you want or use its meal delivery service. Never cook salmon. I tried once to make whitefish and it just didn't happen. For kitchen novices like me, it troubleshoots a major issue, knowing when your food is actually cooked. Each meal comes with a barcode. Scan it and the microwave downloads the correct cooking time. To me, I know it's a convection oven, the whole thing, but it kind of feels like a microwave. Like I can't imagine that this is gonna be really that good. Um, but we'll see. Okay, so it says that it's done. Ooh, look at that. All right, this, this is a moment of truth, guys. This is not bad. It, like does not have the consistency of any kind of like TV dinner. The novelty of barcode cooking may wear off quickly for kitchen pros. And while prepared recipes can be tweaked, there's not a lot of room to improvise. But for people who want to make cooking simple, it's part of a larger trend of making gadgets work for you. Even if you order your meals through a service like Blue Apron or Tavala, you still don't want your pantry to be empty. But if you're anything like me, I never know what I've run out of. I mean, a grocery list, it's non-existent. As you scan with GenieCan, it automatically creates a shopping list. It doesn't always get everything right the first time. Let's get it in like just the right spot. And it takes a while when it doesn't know what it is. Ronzoni elbow pasta. GenieCan hopes to develop the tech so that your scanned trash can be reordered online and delivered automatically. Having your appliances work for you and actually predict your needs may be a staple of our future kitchens. As these things get embedded with more sophisticated intelligence, what will really transform uh, potentially our experience of the kitchen is when these different devices start to become connected to each other. A blender that downloads recipes and then communicates to your fridge what those recipes are and the fridge can check what kinds of foods are in the fridge, and then reorder what's needed so that you can make that smoothie the next morning. Can you sort of elaborate on the role of AI in the kitchen and some of the startups that you're particularly interested in? One of the research institutions that I follow a lot is the Weizmann Institute of Science based in Israel. They've actually created a machine learning algorithm that can predict a person's glycemic response to a meal. And so that is really pointing to this idea of personalized nutrition. Our tools are getting a lot smarter, and soon they'll be designed to act more like assistants than just appliances. They can make us better cooks, or possibly just do the cooking for us. Want to try it? Uh, okay. Right? Yeah. Like, do you cook better than that? Does your mom cook better than that? <laughs> Don't tell your mom that. <laughs>